Oseo. Oseo. Good response. This month of March is honoring Women's Her Story Month. And so I'm definitely carrying that theme along. I'm going to start out with some announcements from Indian Country Today. Uh, we've had a lot of women uh, in surprising places that got elected into various uh, parts of the government, the state government. And a while back I had uh, introduced Ruth Ann Buffalo of North Dakota, that she was elected to the House of Representatives. And her first bill that she's passed, this article, Native students should not have to worry whether they will be allowed to wear eagle feathers and plumes during school sanctioned events. I am pleased to inform the readers of Indian Country today that my House Bill 1335 unanimously passed the Senate last week. <laughs> uh, this probably will open up in a lot of other areas that have been contended on that very subject. You know, uh, I know in Nevada uh, also there were students who tried to uh, break the rule, you know, and uh, bring their eagle feathers uh, to school like that. So this ought to start, you know, something like that. So that's her first, first bill. Um, now the next one is a native embassy robe. The Navajo Nation is looking for a DC home. Could the Navajo Nation be the first tribal government to have its own embassy in the national capital? Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez hopes so. The Navajo Nation Washington office has been tasked with looking for a reasonably priced property. Mm. Applaud. <laughs> <laughs> and this last one, a little longer. The FBI is seeking to repatriate thousands of native art artifacts collected by Christian missionaries. The recovery of native cultural artifacts is the largest single discovery of cultural property in FBI history. Christian missionary had used a skull as a fruit bowl and adorned skeletons. According to the FBI's website, an official operation by the FBI, which led to the discovery of over 7,000 seized artifacts, has resulted in the FBI reaching out to the 573 federally recognized Native American nations in the United States in an attempt to find the proper home and legal repatriation of thousands of culturally significant items. The discovery has been the subject of ongoing investigation for years in which a 91-year-old Christian missionary by the name of Donald C. Miller, who lived in Indiana, had run an amateur museum of sorts out of his farmhouse. <laughs> you know, funny. And then here, locally under education, All Tribes Charter School gains statewide award. The All Tribes American Indian Charter School in Valley Center was recognized by the California Charter Schools Association for its work educating Native American students. March 12th, the school's founders and administrators uh, received the Hart Vincent Award at the 26th Annual Charter Schools Conference in Sacramento. Um, and that's the upshot of it. So that's a, another start. Thank you. Thank you.